right, everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Live from the Lair. And uh, <clears throat> today I'm covering a very important subject uh, because we have an important event taking place next week. And we're expecting a red wave during the ice cream social. You guys in the military know what I just did there. Are you the kind of person who's run out of feelings to hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Then we have the Redonkulous swag for you. And we have multiple locations where you can get it. Go to the Stream Elements store or Crypto Fashion and embrace your inner fat punisher. <laughs> because after all, there's a little bad pop in all of us. Even your mother. Shirts, stickers, mugs, and hats are on sale now. Your support helps keep us independent from big tech and keeps this life-saving train on the tracks. Links are in the Meat Gazer box. <laughs> All right, now, at the last ice cream social, uh, there was a lot of craziness that couldn't be explained either statistically or when you look at some of the video evidence and there has been quite a few lawsuits in regards to said evidence and i can't really go into detail there they were covered in the 2000 mules and there's quite a few more um, circumstances and cases that were uh, not taken up um, in my opinion basically because of cowardice uh, from the judges of our nation to include the supreme court now we've got a lot of people <clears throat> out there who watch my material i know it's passed around you know quite a bit in uh other states including within the military so this message is important in regards to the upcoming ice cream social all right now the first thing we have to address here and this is basically just a low level warning order for anyone out there willing to uh, observe what's going on all right now number one on this list behind me is uh watch and record okay there's absolutely no reason for you to be walking around with open carry or weapon strapped across your back okay all that's going to do is throw up a bunch of red flags for whatever side uh that loses to complain in regards to voter suppression you don't want to do that okay number two be mindful of the 150 meter distance or buffer most people in the city and the urban environment lose track of objects that are beyond 100 meters and from my experience and the training that i received in the military you are basically a non-entity if you are 150 meters or further away now unless you're wearing a clown suit spinning a sign over your head literally you will be ignored or not even noticed okay number three <clears throat> concealment is key all right, I did a lot of time as a long-range reconnaissance soldier in the military, and, and uh, I did those missions for real. All right, they gave us the equipment that was more than sufficient to do said observation. Um, there is all kinds of stuff out there, uh, binos and attachments, that you can put on your phone to allow you to record things at a distance. Now, if you are concealed and you are filming from concealment, 
There's no threat there. All you're doing is recording people coming to and from a ballot harvesting or ice cream social, waffle cone, collecting box. Therefore, you're gathering data. They don't know you're gathering data. And um, yeah, there you go. Now, the next one. I talked about the equipment that you could or could not use. Uh, a big one is trail cams. Uh, if you have to do it, if you're out there doing it, you know, with limited numbers, one or two people, uh, a trail cam concealed and put into the right location, uh, as long as it's on you know public property, uh, you, you can get all kinds of traffic, foot traffic, vehicle traffic. You can put it in locations to get license plates and what have you. All right, so when you're doing that, you want to look for the pattern. If you see the same vehicle with the same license plate dropping off waffle cones, well, that is uh, suspicious. All right, you can get uh, binos and you know telescopes that have um, the ability to attach cameras to, or a lot of them come with built-in cameras, and they're not that expensive. You can pick one up, and you can use that as well. All right, next, we have multiple teams. Now, ideally, <clears throat> if you want to watch an objective, uh, historically, the way the military did it, they wouldn't just send out one team of two to six people. They'd send out four or six to thoroughly surround the objective and watch it from every single angle. So they see what's happening on the objective, who's leaving, who's entering, and any type of activity taking place on said objective. All right, <clears throat> next we have communications. All right, if you are working with multiple teams, you are going to have to use communications. You can use the cell phone, though... I don't know if that's the best uh, option, especially if you are in a highly contested area and uh, certain organizations can triangulate you out basically to one meter where you were and how long you were there. And that data is stored at the cell phone companies for up to, I believe, seven years. Just so you all know what's going on there. My advice Maybe, uh, you know, get some talk about, you know, if you want to get the scrambled stuff, uh, that's a little more expensive. And the time hack here is really short. But if you talk, if you use talk about, yes, it's open comms, but you're not up against a complicated enemy that will be able to pinpoint you based on those transmissions. And again, you're just observing. You are not there for active violence all right number seven and i just want to put this out there do not have weapons period all right now i'm, I'm talking about uh, uh basically hole punchers at a distance and uh, other things that uh, are used to like you know butter toast in the morning and what have you you don't need that all right, there's nothing illegal for you to be in a concealed position in a van or off somebody's property um, or, you know, on or from public uh, property in a concealed location. You're not armed. You are 150 meters away. You are a threat to no one physically. All right. Now, you take all of the data you collected, and uh, if things are not working out in your area and you think there's uh, some shag nanigans, uh, you can get that uh, footage to various media outlets. There are plenty now uh, who operate for the right that will be more than happy to take that and turn it into a story. Anyway... That's just my quick take on the upcoming Ice Cream Social. Be prepared.
because quite literally, things are being stolen right before your eyes. And if you have it on tape, that's evidence.